Hello friends, this is Dr. Dilshad from Khalifa University and welcome to my channel Research Road. Today I am going to talk about some people who are excessive talkers. Effective communication and collaboration are essential in academia and research, where the exchange of ideas, perspectives and expertise drives innovation and advances knowledge. However, within collaborative settings, certain individuals may exhibit behaviors that hinder constructive dialogue and impair the collective progress of research endeavors. One such behavior is excessive talking, where individuals dominate conversations, monopolize discussions, and prioritize their own thoughts and opinions over active listening and collaboration. This tendency can have detrimental effect on research collaborations, stifling creativity, hindering diverse perspectives, and limiting the potential for innovative breakthroughs. In the following discussion, we will explore the challenges posed by excessive talkers in academic and research contexts and examine the potential consequences for collaboration and knowledge exchange. Some of them are listed as. The first point is dominating research discussions. Excessive talkers in academia may monopolize research collaborations, dominating discussions and leaving little room for others to contribute their ideas or expertise. And the second one is disregard for diverse perspective. They may exhibit a lack of interest in considering alternative viewpoints or approaches dismissing the input of collaborators and hindering the benefits of interdisciplinary collaborations. And the next problem is self-centeredness in research pursuits. Excessive talkers may prioritize their own research interests and goals, potentially disregarding the needs and aspirations of their collaborators. And the next problem is limited learning and knowledge sharing. By constantly talking and not actively listening, they may miss out on valuable insights and knowledge that can be gained from collaborating with others in academia. And the next one is reduced engagement of collaborators. Excessive talkers can discourage active participation and engagement from collaborators leading to a less productive and inclusive research environment. And the next one is which is a big problem, the difficulty in building a strong collaborations. But their dominating behavior may hinder the establishment of a strong and equitable research collaborations, as other researchers may perceive them as uninterested in true collaboration and shared decision making. And the another big problem is that they are impatient with others' contributions. Excessive talkers may exhibit impatience or disregard for the contributions of their collaborators, interrupting or dismissing their ideas without giving them proper consideration. And the next problem is lack of synergy and innovation. Collaboration thrives on the exchange of ideas and diverse perspectives which can lead to innovative solutions. Excessive talkers may hinder the development of synergy and novel breakthroughs by limiting input from others. And the next one is hindered professional relationships. The dominance of excessive talkers can strain professional relationships within academia, leading to a lack of trust, decreased collaboration opportunities and potential reputational damage. And the last point but not the least point is missed opportunities for growth. By not actively listening and valuing the input of collaborators, excessive talkers may miss out on valuable opportunities for personal and professional growth, including expanding their knowledge, refining their research methods, and benefiting from diverse expertise. 